<laughs> Hold in your heads as we progress. <laughs> Uh, somebody told me that uh, your first time doing stand-up was a lot like your first time having sex, but this is definitely not the run the most part of mine. And I am definitely not eating cheeseburger. <laughs> When I, was, uh, when I was younger, I really wanted to work for the gateway company, the computer company, because everybody said that uh, pot is a gateway drug. <laughs> <laughs> and I smoked a lot of weed from kindergarten to third grade. <laughs> it actually got really bad, though. My, uh, my classmates held an intervention for me during show and tell one day. <laughs> they said my habit was affecting my work, my uh, the clarity of my cursive was going down. <laughs> Lowercase s's didn't look like little sails anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, had a, I had a really liberal teacher though. She uh, she really liked what I was doing with my work and all the directions I was taking. And she uh, she asked if she could post it on her blog. I told her I'd have to ask my mom, and then I had to go number two. <laughs> Here was 1996, you did the first blog. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, I'm not in third grade anymore, in college now. And uh, food's a big deal in college. And, uh, I eat a lot of fast food now, which is bad for you, but I don't feel too bad about it. I used to have just terrible dietary habits. I would only eat menthol cigarettes. <laughs> so, I feel like I'm improving on it. But, uh, and I'm not, I'm not going to stand up here and not fast food. Fast food's always been good to me. I remember one time, in particular, uh, I needed to ride to the airport, and these chicken nuggets picked me up at the drive-thru. Which was really gracious of them. And I got in the car, and uh, there was only three nuggets there, so I asked why they weren't four-piece. It was actually really sad. They told me they had a miscarriage. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I told the I told the father nugget I was really sorry. And he just looked back at me and said, "What? We can't hear you. We're chicken nuggets." <laughs> <laughs> so after that conversation, got a little stilted. <laughs> we finally got to the airport though, and I uh, I wanted to give him something for the you know for me out so much, but I didn't have any, any cash or anything, so I gave him a packet of ketchup and told him to last longer if they stay in cool places. <laughs> was, uh, I, ended up, I actually ended up missing that flight, though. It was, uh, it was to Jurassic Park. <laughs> and I think, I think Jurassic Park is a great idea. I think it's a fantastic idea, but I feel bad for whoever has to clean up the Jurassic shit. <laughs> My friend told me a story recently, uh, he said he had uh, bought a plastic bong a while ago and uh, he tried to clean it, so he was going to use, uh, use boiling water, you know, universal cleaner, I guess, and, uh, but it was too hot, the water was too hot, it's plastic, so it, it kind of like shriveled up and melted and sort of like leans to the side now, kind of like a like Dr. Seuss or like a Hugo bong, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> which is cool, he told me it looked cool, but uh, it didn't work anymore. You know, he just got it and he wanted to get it fixed, so um, he took it a uh, plastic bomb, he took it to a plastic surgeon. <laughs> Logic. And, uh, and you know, they went to him and they said, you know, I know this I know this isn't usually your thing, but I just got this. Is there any way you can help me out? You know, Alright. Come back in a week. So they come back in a week, get the bomb, it's all bandaged up, they take it home, so excited, it's gonna be completely fixed. Get the bandages off, the bong has enormous breasts. <laughs> and he told me he was upset at first, because, you know, it still wasn't working right. The guy didn't fix it, he just gave it, you know, enormous breasts. But then, and so they were upset, but then everybody started to kind of get into it a little bit. Kind of evens out the keel of the whole bong.
along, you know. <laughs> more mature now. <laughs> Everybody just got so into it, you know, and just showering this bong of comments. And wouldn't you know that all those comments went straight to the bong's head. The bong moves out to California and tries to become an actress. <laughs> this is all true. This is all true. <laughs> and I actually heard a report that she was doing pretty well. I heard that uh, she was actually up for a part in the next Spielberg movie, I think. It's a remake of an old classic. It's called Schindler's Bomb. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I also heard a conflicting report that she wasn't doing so well, because uh, anytime somebody would ask her a question, she'd say, What? I can't hear you. I'm a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>